What's going on, guys? It's Nyla Simone here with the very special guest. I got West Side Boogie in the yes, building. Sir. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming. And thank you for pulling up last night. Yes, of course. Even though you left early. It's all good. Don't do not do it like that. Why? You had such a late <laughs> album listening. I know. But I feel like that. I, ain't that early for New Yorkers? You know what I'm saying? Y'all be you, partying late. I, I'm not an original New Yorker. Oh, where are you from originally? I'm from Maryland. Oh, okay. But how long you been here? <laughs> Eight years. So you're not... You're not. <laughs> I'm not like... Old, all right. I'm just a really old person at heart. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? So I wake I, up early. I can't be out late. Let me tell you, I was washed, too. I was tired. I had to go home. Shit, I could not tell. You was up there performing <laughs> over the track. I said, okay, period. Yeah, I, gotta, I, I like this energy. Because I was grateful that everybody was out there. So yeah. I make sure I give good energy. It was dope. And I Thank even you. really liked the conversation that you and Jinx were having. Yeah, he was asking some amazing questions. Yeah, he, he you know, won't promote other platforms on here. <laughs> but Jinx did ask really good questions. And, you know, in one of the questions he asked you made a comment that i was like all right no we gotta talk about this you said look he's like what did i say (laughs) i was drinking what did i say i got a problem with just rambling sometimes so tell me what i said (laughs) you said i'm scared to hill all the way because i feel like it might make me less cool literally knew that that was and i I stand by that no i don't stand by it because like i know eventually i'm the one to keep trying to heal and heal all the way but stop back like you a girl stop back like you don't know like it's harder for heal niggas to get to get girls uh, no, I actually think that's great I mean, that, yeah, you, that I, you deal with all also, your traumas. And also, now it's, you're like, gonna... it's like a new like uh, like species of women that's fucking with hill niggas, and I, I, fuck, <laughs> and I like it. Species. But for the most part, we feel like we got to be, you know, rebels because okay. that's usually what get the shorty. So, you know. I feel like that's like an old narrative, though. Yeah, we conditioned to that narrative. So, you know. Who is we? You claiming well, that. I'm you also, don't have to claim I'm that. I'm also like a, a victim of my environment. I'm from a neighborhood in Compton and I'm the only nigga in my neighborhood with therapy. So, you know. Oh, okay. So lead by example and heal all the way. Uh, that's all uh, I'm getting at. Accountability. <laughs> I can't. I mean, I can't run from it. I I, I got to stop running from growing. So you know. Because the more people like you who are actually doing therapy and like taking that on, you will make it cool because you are cool. Yeah, I know. We gotta we gotta push the the message forward. I remember uh, hearing Kendrick talk about therapy on his album. Yeah. And initially, I'm like, damn it, he took my message. But then it's <laughs> like, nah, it's, it's millions of people who talk about guns. All so why can't this message be like amplified by more than one person? So I'm glad therapy is becoming a cool thing you know what i'm saying yeah that's true and even to the point of uh well how did you feel about kendrick's album i know a lot of people are like i'm gonna be well he f- i'm gonna be biased because he's from the hood oh, so okay, okay it's the greatest it's the greatest album so you yeah know. oh i feel like um when people ask me i'm like uh it wasn't made for me i feel like the project is made specifically for black men and... nah, I, feel, I, I, I see that i can see that yeah. so yeah it hit home for me especially okay, being good. a father somebody who go with like uh unaddressed trauma from my dad and stuff like that so yeah it hit on for me, especially the fight with the girl. Yeah. I got a baby mama, you know what I'm saying? I've, okay. been, I've been in that bag before, so. Yeah. Why well, it reminded me of Baby Boy so much? No, nah, it, it was definitely <laughs> Baby Boy. It's on a song. That's yeah. Funny. Okay, so, um, and in regards to, so, making an album about, you know, healing and therapy, um, what made you want to be open up and vulnerable like that? Um, so, being vulnerable has been something that's been consistent in my music for, like, I say, like, maybe five to seven years now since ever since i got that high from being honest in my music i've never been able to go back and do nothing else so the it's just something that's always been there and i see strength in being vulnerable so i want to make sure I, I always spread that message and that's something i'm not gonna let go i love that thank you good for you look at me <laughs> look at you healing look at me, healing. <laughs> all right i know you think it, it well you don't think it's corny right or you mm. do think it's you do think it's corny to heal? Yeah, uh, it's part of me, and that's the part of me that still got to grow. But you know, I'm great at giving information and like helping people, but I'm not great at receiving it. So you know what I'm saying? Interesting. Yeah. What's your sign? Virgo. Oh my God! God what bless you, mean? you. We got man. Beyonce. What Yo, you shout about? out to y'all team, man. I know you <laughs> got a fucking handful on you. Oh my God! Virgos, what's on? What's on you? I'm, I'm a Leo. You're so close to oh greatness. My I know. I Ew. know. You you just missed the mark. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. But. No, but I know with Virgos, they're like perfectionists. Mm-hmm. So when completing the album, because it took you some time to put this mm-hmm. out, where you like, no, nah, it's not ready yet. It's not yeah, done always. yet. Or- I, I, you know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for like having a, a team around me that pushed me and me start having to realize like it's people depending on you too, or that's believing in you, not necessarily depending on you, but they believe in you. You got to finally just let it go and be confident. And they instill confidence. But it was times I wasn't ready. And if they wasn't, if my team wasn't around me and didn't push me, I probably would have never dropped it. You know what I'm saying? Just because mm. I'm human. I'm an artist. I'm sensitive about my shit. Shout out to Eric Badu. As you should be. 
This mm-hmm. is yours. This is your baby. Exactly. Did you write this during the pandemic? Mm, did any of these songs come from pandemic? Maybe one or two. Okay. But I had to get in the space what I was ready to create again, and I think I was forcing a lot of stuff when my project first dropped three years ago. And then when I was in, like, quarantine, it just I wasn't able to draw from real experiences in life because I was forced to be in the house, so it was kind of mm. tough. Yeah. Okay. I understand that. Um, what was I going to ask? Da, 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 da. He said... He said he Pandemic, said. writer's block. How you left the party early. No, 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 no. <laughs> Fuck, what was it? It's something pulling. Sorry, I have these blonde moments. Uh, um, y'all get a picture of me? This? Oh. To be part of this. Yo, Matt got you. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Matt got you, don't worry. Um. Oh, I was going to say, with being, back to the Virgo thing, sorry. I'm big on Zodiacs. Okay. So with you being a Virgo and a perfectionist, um, like what's the creative process for you? Creating for me is having to get a beat that actually moves me, and, mm. and that's the perfectionist part. If I don't feel that magical moment every time I hear the beat, I'm going to sit all day and not record nothing, which is also frustrating for people that work with me because it's like, I don't think I've ever been to like a real studio session and got a song done. It's, really? Yeah, and it's like, at that point, I'm just wasting label money because it always got to be, like, at home. I got to be in a certain m- mood. Yeah, you're and, really a creative. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. My producer just happened to be around me all day. Well, they like my best friend, so they always catch them moments because okay. they're around me. So it'd be like, oh, you only want to work with these producers. It's not. It's like, nah, they just around me when I'm ready to rap, and it's mm. just hard because, yeah, I'm human, and I'm really creative like that. Yeah. So who produced on this tape? Uh, for the most part, it's my in-house producers, Keezy and Dart, but we got this, somebody named C. Gutta, uh, this uh, up-and-coming producer named Bregma, and, oh, these producers from L.A. named the Eastie Boys. They produce for Blast a lot. The Eastie Boys? Yeah. That's a cool name. It is. It's, it's ghetto, but... I'm <laughs> Not as ghetto. It's just, are they white? <laughs> no, they black. They black. They black. So why do they go with the Eastie Boys? I don't know. That's interesting. I, like, didn't, the I, Beast- don't, I don't know. Okay, cool. Shout out to them, though, man. Yeah, Eastie yeah, yeah. I, I like what they got going on. What songs did they produce? They produced something strange, and it's uh, it's an up and coming LA artist on there named Kaylin Pharrell. Yo, I love that you had Kaylin on there. Yeah, I it was pe- a real LA moment. LA producers did it, so I'm like, let me tap into LA since they be trying to play me and say I never make regional music at home sometimes. So do they really? Nah, I just be making stuff up in my head. Oh my god, yo, <laughs> you know what? Nah, you are a real Virgo. <laughs> I literally just be making up stuff in my head. Okay, brain. what you must have seen a comment? You seen a comment? Uh, well, it was this L.A. report card they did, and you know what I'm saying? And it was some people acting like, I don't make L.A. music in there, but no, I didn't care for real. Hmm. One of my favorite things about you, really, is, like, your visuals. No, thank you. Yeah. I take pride in that. And I feel like with the type of music I make, visuals is necessary so people can really understand what I'm saying. So yeah. I'm glad. But I feel like the message actually gets better explained with the music exactly. video Fact. than, yeah, because I'll listen and I'll be thinking you're talking about this, and then I'll watch and I'm like, <laughs> Oh shit! That yeah. went completely over my head. Well, actually, that's the beauty of music too. Without without video, that you could make your own perspective from it, from whatever you hear. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. Okay, so what are the visuals we're getting off of this tape? I'm finna drop a trailer t- today. Um, I, I I dropped two videos already for the two singles, and I think this time around, I'm gonna wait to see like Which what I want to the... shoot. What I want to shoot, yeah, what stick, and you know what people want to see. Talk to my peoples, and then you know shoot a video. Are you the director behind your music video? All of them. Really? No, nah, I didn't. I didn't come up with nothing for real, for real. I just create the art, and I've been, <laughs> I've been blessed to have like great people around me who could who were able to bring my vision, well, my music to life, and, and put like something they could see behind it. But nah, I never uh, directed no video or yep. wrote or wrote the treatment or wrote the treatment or wrote the treatment. It's Damn. been Justice, Gina, Carlin. Yeah, that's all I can remember right now. Shout out to Kufu too. I love it. Shameless plugs. So let's talk about uh, the Snoop Dogg feature. Mm-hmm. Have you met Snoop before? Yeah, I met him a couple times, two or three times. My mama used to be married to this toxic man who's from Snoop Dogg hood, though. You know okay. what I'm saying? So I didn't like him, but I did gain that relationship out of it. So um, You would just see him around the way? Yeah, he just he didn't even know I rapped, but I knew he like remembered I was Jug's stepson. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I, I ended up getting signed. Uh, my mom was still married to this man at the time, so he kind of put it in his ear. But I knew I was never going to use my feature card till like, later when I was really ready. So, like, a couple months or maybe a year ago, I said, yep, time to use it. DM'd him. Got the verse back fast. And then I seen him recently at the Super Bowl rehearsal, so I told him thank you. It's kind of mind-blowing to me that Snoop Dogg is really just, like, a, a regular guy. Nah, he's so guys. human. <laughs> he's so human, and it's just, like, I love that. And 
I don't like when rappers fig- like lose their human values, and that shit irritates my soul. So yeah, can I cuss on here? Y- yeah, we're not live. Okay. Oh, gotcha. I'm <laughs> I'll, like, I'll edit. I've been cussing my ass off. No, you're good. I'm gonna stop. So how do, how do you maneuver and stay grounded? So you don't. Um, like, you my kid this. keep me grounded. It's a cheat code that's gonna always humble me. Having a twelve year old that don't treat you like a rapper, <laughs> that like yeah. think you corny most of the time, uh, super humbling. And I'm around re- I'm around real people all the time. I don't put myself in relationships that's not genuine i don't hang around people i don't know so it's easy does, does your kid get feedback on the music often yeah only the ratchet songs he don't care about like the introspective stuff and stuff like that well, i guess that makes he don't sense. get it you yeah, know what yeah, i'm saying yeah. he ain't been through that yet so yeah uh, the, the ratchet stuff are you really swayed by his opinion no i think he poop i think he's good <laughs> i don't care I'm like you're trash anyway like what do you know nobody in the world could like Changing my kid, how I feel about myself, nobody. So it's like I just think his opi- his like opinion is off sometimes. Is he on TikTok heavy? Yeah, he a little TikTok. So he's and into he like he, yeah, doing you know, oh. dances. Wait, no, nah, you just said a J smooth <laughs> move that I seen in years. <laughs> Little TikToker. I love that. Okay, so have you ever? Oh, because I know like TikTok is the new phenomenon, and how a lot of artists have been breaking. Have you ever felt pressure to try to like make a TikTok hit? TikTok hit? No pressure to be on TikTok yet, but. Actually, no. A couple of weeks ago, I seen everybody. They just been like sampling like songs now and bringing them back. And I did to my producer, "Hey, let's make a TikTok song." But it lasted like four hours, and I was over it. So you're such a Virgo. Yeah, I was. Did yeah, you really <laughs> like you? You be in one minute and yeah, then out. I was done. Hmm. Because it wasn't it wasn't moving me. Interesting. Another thing you said yesterday. I, I feel like um FBI agent. I'm like yeah, because yeah. I heard you say, but I did hear you say um. You went through a really every time you go through a relationship, you make a great project. Mm-hmm. Is that the case with this project? Nah, I couldn't do it because of therapy, and it's like it's <laughs> you sound to, mad about I, it. Like I, that's what I'm saying. That's the part I don't like because I, I would have probably been dropped, and it would have been some like real heartbroken music. It would have probably you know touched some people's hearts, but it wasn't what I needed, and I needed to grow. Um, but it was hard because I had to approach music from a different way instead of just blaming somebody. And making a project how like, oh you blew it now look at me, you know what I'm saying? It was it was tough. Accountability. It sucks. Yeah, you <laughs> shout out to the awareness, man. Yo, I, I actually really love this for you. Cause do you honestly if you just if I play back what you just said, like, yeah, I had to, you know, go through healing. <laughs> no, nah, I'm pretty sure I sound irritated. You sound crazy. Yeah. It's uh, it's I'm conflicted every day. I'm still battling. Cause I like, can't wait for you to be one hundred percent healed and you look back and be like, damn, I was ignorant. Dang, you sound just like my therapist sarita for real though shout out to you dude who do you who's like your who do you listen to outside of yourself her her yeah my, oh okay my, my therapist um no 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 music wise oh uh, i thought you meant her the singer i do listen to her though i okay. love her yeah she's dope. um uh summer of course because that's gang gang black because that's gang gang a lot of homies from my hood i'm not gonna name on him right now because i just was finna fight somebody because i left off somebody from my neighborhood you know what i'm saying <laughs> and he made a whole instagram post mad. about Aww. me so i said i'm not gonna shout out nobody shout out to my neighborhood and everybody that rap over there though um in compton um they gotta know that you are representing for all of them so no, even you- if you don't give them their individual praise you're there for them it's like an extension a win for yeah, you is a win for them I- i've come to Except that I can't rush people's growth, and maybe they like get to that point where they will see that I'm I am trying to help everybody. But until then, I don't know. There's nothing I could do. I can't let it beat me up. Like since you're having that grace for them, I'll have that grace for you as thank well. You. Thank <laughs> you, man. Like come on, man. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, um, wait. So, how involved are you still with your neighborhood? Do you still live over there? No, I was no. I'm not. That's that's where my survivors get come from, though, because I don't gotta live over there. I could come over there, have fun, and just leave. Why they gotta? deal with you know the reality of it but i'm involved a lot because of that my guilt and just because i want to help uh i only go over there if it's like events though like to thanksgiving or christmas or if i'm shooting a video or documentary or to come to somebody else's video i don't hang out at all no more so there's that i don't feel like you should have survivor's guilt though because you want to evolve no i know i don't feel like i should have it either that don't mean it's not there okay well why do you think you have it because in a world, I, sometimes I feel like I'm reaping the benefits of it. You know what I'm saying? Especially in L.A. where they like glorified gang culture. It's like, I get, I'm get. i trying to tell you, I get girls because I'm a blood. And I like toxic bug. It's a real thing that girl that they fuck with. So it'd be like, there's that part. Well, maybe you just got to stop mentioning yeah, it. I, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Cause just stop mentioning because you get, you attract what you put out. That's true. Very so true. it's like, you know what? 
People find out you're a blood, you're going to get all the bitches that like bloods. <laughs> you know? <laughs> bitches find out you reading books, you going to attract all the bitches that like bloods. I don't get like no reading. hoes from reading books. That's not I'm true. You, you can start <laughs> great conversations based off books. I'm just playing. Do you read books? I can't finish them. Oh, man. It's like I've been reading the Malcolm X book and the Alchemist for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to know that. And I cannot get through. I think you have to find, like, it's like picking the right beat. Yeah, but they always like, the Alchemist is the best book ever. It's going to change your life. Uh, find, find one that fits you. This is one that I think you would really like because you're such a creative. It's mm-hmm. by uh, Quincy Jones. Oh, that sounds dope. It's like uh, The Twelve Laws of Creativity. I think that book would fit you. See, I, I need some, like, Karen, can we write that down? Oh, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, or I can pass it to you. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think that's something for you. But you, you're a really interesting guy, I got to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me look at my question list. Um, more black superheroes. Let's talk about the cover art. Fire. Yo, yesterday somebody at the club was like, man, you so brave for putting your kids on your cover art. So for one, they're not my kids. I was about so, to say. <laughs> so I thought I got, you had one. I got one kid, and he too cool, He acted too cool to be on there. No, he was out of, he was out of town when that happened. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's really just about what you want to know what it means to me, the title means to me, what you asked me, or the well, cover no, art. Yeah, the cover art. The cover art, saving, one, saving kids. <laughs> That's what it is. More black superheroes. Exactly. So you are the superhero. I am the superhero, and they superheroes too. I love that. And what's your superpower? Being vulnerable, um, let's see, that's one. Being honest, my super strength is being vulnerable. Being ratchet is a superpower. Um, being a father. Yo, being you just a, can't let this ratchet itch go, man. <laughs> <laughs> being a survivor, um, yeah. And I'm going to say again, being ratchet, because it's really a power. All right, cool. Let's talk about this collaboration with Smino. I was so happy that you guys collabed, because you guys are in my... Black girls loves me. Yeah, I have like there's like seven of you guys that I love. You, Jid, Smino, Denzel Curry. Okay, maybe there's four. I feel, I feel like we are in the same like you, you yeah, guys are, we are we yeah. are we are in the same group. So I feel s- like we all came up together. Me and Jid like I remember us being signed around the same time at, with Universal, and this lady kept saying, "I want you to meet this boy Jid," and I didn't want to at first, but then he ended up being my dog. So. <laughs> Why you be acting like that? Like, don't nobody want to meet nobody. You telling me, meet him. Girl, you go meet him. <laughs> oh, that's what you were saying yesterday because it's competition. Yeah, that too. And I'm also like, yeah, I don't want to like you. Now I can't even go at you. That's you know okay. You guys are all the best at your own individual thing. Yeah, shout out to yeah. G. That's my nigga. Yeah. Shout out to Denzel. Took me on my second tour ever. Um, Yeah, shout out to Denzel. Yeah. Yeah, y'all are my favorite of the class that you, you guys are in. So. Um, so talk about this Smino collaboration. Do you guys do it together in the studio or? Hmm. So that's, that's my dog. We've been talking about doing a project together forever. Every time I have him come to the studio, we always get high or drunk and then don't do a song. But at least we build and he, we fill the song with each other together. Okay. He, he took it home and sent it to me like two days later. That is actually hilarious. Yeah. What did you guys be drinking? What was we drinking that day? Um, that's some fucking L.A. ass shit. Yeah, I feel either. like in L.A. you don't get nothing done. <laughs> nah, you're right. It's compared to New York for sure. Y'all yeah. always working. We just vibing. Um, but I think we was probably drinking Hennessy. I don't know. We was ratchet. We was being like slime balls. Okay. Not slime balls. I don't even want to know. Okay, <laughs> cool. And um, so you got Kaylin. Did I hear Kyle Banks on there? Mm-mm. No? Who did Kyle I hear? Banks. Oh, Kyle Soldier Banks. Boy. I know Kyle Banks. Who is that? He's from LA too. Oh yeah, I know. He him. be with uh. That's tight Mies. that you know him. That's fire that you know him. I'm. I'm. You tuned in. Kind of tapped yeah, in. Yeah, that's fire. <laughs> like Kyle Banks. Okay. So let's talk about this Soldier Boy feature. Did mm-hmm. you see what uh ASAP Rocky said about Soldier Boy keeping rapping yeah, adolescents? <laughs> shit is funny. Hilarious. He's all in Soldier Boy just all in the media when I'm finna drop our song together. It's Perfect funny. timing. It is. I'm not gonna lie. Bumped in Soldier Boy, man. Yeah, I think um. Not that I agree with ASAP Rocky says, because he says a lot of shit that I'd be like, ah, oh, God, you know, I can't get it. But with that statement, kinda, he's kind of right. I kind of, I, I went back and thought about it, too, and I'm like, hey, man. But it's not a bad thing. It's not. Because there's a lot of great adolescent rappers. There's a lot of great adolescent rappers. It is. I, rappers. I was trying to make Like, sure basic it. bar type it is. shit. That's it what is I mean by it. a lot of great artists. It is. Yeah, so it's nothing wrong with it, but Soulja Boy did, you know, leave it stuck there. So <laughs> I, I think it's cool that you made him step his pen exactly. up. Exactly. You're right, and I'm glad everybody's saying he had a good verse because, you know what I'm saying, when I heard that song, I was like, man, it's giving me Soldier Boy energy, and I hope he delivered because we didn't have no, like, real relationship, so he ain't even had no reason to really give me a great verse. He could have just, mm. like, 
did it and just sent it back like I'm Soldier Boy. But but he would have got his verse took off also. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I'm glad he sent me a great verse. Are you honest with artists? Like I'm not really feeling this. Can you nah, do it again? Nah, no, nah. you just take it. I'll be in the studio. I've never told nobody something in the studio that I don't like it. Also, like that's that's breaks my heart. Yeah, Yo, you gotta like, let them know though, because this is your baby at the end yeah, of the day. Yeah, I'm not gonna you... use it though. I'm just probably oh. not gonna tell them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not. Gonna... But them conversations be uncomfortable. I'm just gonna blame it on the label. You, you or leave it on justice. Yeah, like man, justice. Get- <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's what you got a team for. for. Exactly. All right. Well, more black superheroes. I love the title. I love what you're doing. Thank, Thank you for coming, you. chopping Appreciate it up with you me. you having me, asking tough questions, making me hold myself accountable. It's not it tough. Was irritating, <laughs> but she's amazing. I, I want to see you be great. Next time, Thank next you. time we come back around and you're a totally healed individual. I, mm-hmm. I'm. I'll be closer. Why are you fighting <laughs> nah, it? Right, Don't I'm gonna be, fight I'm gonna be healed. I'm gonna be healed. I'm gonna be healed. Yes, you're on a journey, and we're watching it. Exactly. You're gonna make it cool. By the way, this watch is very nice. Shout out to LVRN for the present. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Play with somebody else. I love it. And I got on Buddy merch. Shout out to Buddy, my boy from Compton. You know, you need to work with Alex Vaughn. <laughs> Alex Vaughn, my dog. Y'all need to work yeah, together. Why, yeah, I know. I feel like we got a song. Like, I don't know. Coming? Uh, I'm talking too much. I don't know, man. I'm not uh, saying anything. Okay. okay Shout out period. to Alex, man. You heard the exclusive. We just ate tacos. You heard the exclusive. We got an Alex Vaughn boogie record. We just had tacos, and she did not like... She had pre-made shells, and it irritated me, but the, the food was good, like the, the meat. But you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't, like, fry y'all, ta- y'all shells on y'all own? Y'all, make, y'all get pre-made shells? Um... Look, in y'all LA, from New York. Y'all, I, remember, y'all don't got it. Well, real taco culture. Me and culture. Alex are both from I mean, Maryland. Maryland. I'm sorry. And in LA, you guys are close to like the border, and you guys have a lot of Spanish people. So y'all taco game is kind of on yeah, another level. Mind. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, like we're not doing mind. that. We go to Walmart and we get the shells and. That's nasty. Talk. Now you, oh, you're Italian. And you <laughs> cook all the time. All right, Boogie. Shout out to your gram. Let everybody know they can follow you and tap you can in. Follow me at Westside Boogie on Instagram. Um, my Twitter is ws underscore boogie. I don't know why it's different, but, you know. I mean, we got to fix that. Do it for me. Huh? Yo, I just, <laughs> I'm just a radio person. I don't got nothing to do with that. Until next time, guys. Peace.